Hello all, welcome to PK Chemistry. In this video, we are going to discuss Central Pollution Control Board Chemistry Question Paper. Before that, we should know the pattern of exam. So first, this is 70 marks exam. So we have a single answer type 20 plus 10, 30 questions having 40 marks. And multi answer type, we have a totally 30 marks. So, uh, total mark is uh, 72 over exam. So, our uh, chemistry is gate syllabus. We can uh, download from the website. Let's start discussing the question paper. The first question asked from the carbohydrates. Disaccharides made up of two glucose unit linked through beta 1,4 glycosidic linkage. Here, if you look at this maltose, lactose, isomaltose, cellobios, first we should know the structure of this. Here, maltose is having 1,4 glycosidic linkage. Here, lactose having the 1,4 alpha maltose. Here, 1,4 beta, but galactose and glucose. But they asked combination of two glucose units linked through the beta 1,4 glycosidic linkage. So, if you take isomaltose, this is 1,6 alpha. Here, the cellulose only having 1,4 beta position and our correct answer is the cellobios is the, our correct answer, answer D. Move on to the second question. The photolytic reaction of FeCO5. So there are two reactions. One is photochemical reaction, another one is thermal reaction. Photo reaction FeCO5 reaction gives the Fe2CO9, but in the case of thermal, it gives the Fe3CO12. Our correct answer is Fe2CO9 C is the correct answer and if if you look at Fe2CO9 structure it has a three bridging carbonyl there is no metal metal bond but if you look at this Fe3CO12 it has only two carbonyl also two uh, metal metal bond move into the third question which one of the following alkali metal reacts with nitrogen to form a Me3N? That means which one forms nitride with the alkali metals? The lithium only forms uh, lithium nitrides among the all. So correct answer is D. The question fourth. The correct combination of stationary and mobile base generally used in the normal base in the HBLC. There are two base, normal base as well as reverse base. In the case of normal base, polar stationary base and non-polar mobile base. If they ask reverse, then our answer is non-polar stationary base and uh, polar mobile base. Question number five. This is the question asked from the UV spectra. So this is trans steel beam. This is cis steel beam. So, if you compare to cis and trans, trans having 295 nanometer wavelength and cis having 280 nanometer. Because this have the steric interference, so uh, energy is more, the wavelength is decreasing. The energy inversely proportional to wavelength. Our correct answer is B. Identify the major product X formed in the following reaction. This is nucleophilic substitution reaction. So this morpholine attacks here. So this bond pair comes here. Then this comes here. Here N double bond O bond O become O minus. Then what it forms? So sulfur and bromine and here morpholine. And then bond, a double bond, N bond O minus, bond O minus. Then this comes here, then this bond shift here, then this bond comes here, bromine goes out. 
so finally leads to formation of compound ea next question so in the given nmr uh, exhibit the following uh, singlet at del value so they singlet at 4.1 and three hydrogen three hydrogen singlet here okay here three hydrogen singlet but here no three hydrogen singlet so our answer b and d is not our answer and look at to this 4.1 this is highly shielded d shielded one compared to this methyl and this carbon and this methyl and oxygen so due to oxygen um, more d shielding happens this gives 4.1 singlet and if you look at this one around 2.1 2.1 carbon carbon here if you take carbon here carbon and oxygen this must be more than 3 around 3.5 so they given triplet 2.1 so you can consider this one as a triplet 2.1 and this is multiple and this is a triplet with 0.9 del value so our correct answer is c the next question this is simon smith reaction generally what happens this forms carbene kind of uh, intermediate and leads to formation of less uh, inert side uh, coupling in this case you just look at this reaction so this uh, carbene carbene forms intermediate between carbene and zinc and oh there is a interaction between zinc oh and uh, carbene so that's why this uh, cyclopropane and OH are in the same phase. And also they're given the Clyden book. See this uh, ketone reduced by dipole gives the alcohol and uh, followed by Simon Smith reaction gives the same space cyclopropane then followed by oxidation gives the ketone. The similar example. So this is also same kind of example cyclopropane reaction. This is also formation of cyclopropane. When hydroxy present, this gives the same kind of stereochemistry. So look at this one. So if you look at this, uh, the same stereochemistry, this is below the plane. This is also the OH the is below the plane. Our expected product also should be in the below the plane. And look at this one. This is from heterocyclic compounds. So the pH double bond O and bond O, O, M, E. Presence of base, it will abstract the proton, then minus. Now, you have a aldehyde and chlorine. It attacks to the carbonyl position. What you will get is on Cl, bond O, which bond C double bond O, O, M, E, phenyl and then here double bond O, keto enol cartomerism, then bond OH, then this OH attacks the fluorine position, then leads to formation of O bond H bond OH, bond C, O, O, M, E, Phenyl and double bond, then goes water eliminates, gives the D product. So, this is the heterofuron synthesis. So, moving to next question mean radius of 1s orbital of lithium 2, 2 plus. The mean radius of 1, 1s orbital is radius is 3a. 0 by 2z. It's given in the physical chemistry Atkins book. So if you substitute atomic number 3a 0 by 2 into 3, you will get cancel 3 by 3, then you will get a a 0 by 2. Our correct answer is B. So if you like this video, share with your friends. Thank you.